Hey rainbows and welcome back to another video. Today I am going to be showing you all my favorite Create a Sim CC creators. There might be a part two to this video because there are probably some more that I missed that I did not get to include, but I also didn't want to overwhelm anybody. But if you guys have any CC creators that you love that I missed, Feel free to put those in the comments below as well and yeah maybe we can get a part two going of this video for the most part the cc creators that i am showing you all today are maxis match especially the hair cc creators but there are some cc creators included in this list that do alpha cc which we'll see later mostly for clothes and jewelry and such but yes i'm just going to show you favorite hair shoes clothing jewelry some tiaras because if you guys know my channel at all i do mostly i do almost always royals so yeah okay so the first creator I want to show you all, which I learned about within like the past two years, they might have been around longer, but is Sim Celebrity 00. They have so many hairs and it actually looks like clothing is coming soon too. For the most part, they have longer and medium hairstyles. They do have some short hairstyles as well, but they have an insane amount of options. So if you have not checked out this creator yet, I highly recommend. Also, I hadn't mentioned yet, but all of the links to these creators pages will be linked in the video description below but yes they have an insane amount of hairs available definitely recommend downloading a bunch of their stuff I know I have most of their stuff next creator a lot of you probably already know but is a Harris 00 Brittany they have an amazing collection of hairs as well they also do some clothing and some jewelry they have lots of collabs with other creators too it just tons and tons of options for CC to download. The next creator is Saurus Sims. I can't, oh, that, that's an interesting thing to show. Um, I can't get this sidebar to go away at the moment, but she does stream on Twitch. She's a wonderful streamer and just a really kind person in general. So definitely give her a follow. Um, and it is blocking one of these bars, unfortunately, but she makes amazing CC, lots of hairs, lots of clothing. She has some jewelry, some shoes, just a whole bunch of stuff. So she has has so many options definitely recommend giving her page a look because you are absolutely bound to find something on here next creator you all probably have heard of before as well but this is clumsy alien they have a bunch of hair and clothing and jewelry collections there are so many collections here that I just absolutely love mostly a lot of casual clothes but they do have options like this I absolutely love this dress that comes in this collab the meadow winds collab with clumsy alien and Samandi. but yeah so many clothing and hair options from Clumsy Alien. Which brings us to our next CC creator, Simandi. They have a bunch of hairs. They have insane amount of hairs. Um, they also have just like really quirky hairs too that are a bit different, which is nice. They have hair accessories. They have uh, cult things, goblin ears, and all of that stuff too. I'm not sure why the rest of this isn't showing up, but I have a lot of their clothes for the most part. So definitely recommend checking out their hairs and of course the other stuff too if you're interested. Our next creator is someone that I pretty recently found out about, but this is Johnny Simmer. And what's great about their page is they have a lot of shorter hairstyles, a lot for masculine sims. They have some feminine hairstyles as well. They have a lot of conversions. And this is so great because I am always struggling to find CC for guys, especially like with the hair. I just feel like I rarely have enough options. So finding this creator was just a huge blessing because they do so much of the shorter hairstyles and I absolutely love them. Next we have Enrique. They're a bit of a mix between Maxis Match and Alpha. It's just like a little bit more silky than Maxis Match hair but it's not quite Alpha hair. I've been using their hairs for years now so they're probably another creator that a lot of you have heard of but they have also tons of options. They do also do some jewelry, um, other accessories. But they are by far are one of my favorite CC hair creators. Next we have QR Sims. For the most part, I use their hairs. I actually am seeing some hairs that I haven't downloaded yet and that I will definitely be downloading after this video. But they have tons of different hairstyles. For the, They actually have a lot of masculine hairstyles as well, which I love. Again, more options for them is absolutely great because we don't have a lot. Next we have Shea Butter. I absolutely love their hairs. They have a lot of protective hairstyles 
a lot of afro texture hairstyles. They do have tons of options. They do tons of variations of their hair too. So you could have the same style, but in pigtails or braids or just like a ponytail or all down. But yeah, Shea Butter, another hair CC creator that is amazing. Next we have Kiera Zerk, who does a lot of conversions of CC, lots of clothing and tons of hair conversions. Pretty much all of the hairs are available for toddlers, kids, and adult frames. And they have an insane amount of options. I mean, I have gone through, oh, this is so cute. I still need to download that. But they have tons of options. I have spent hours on hours just going through their page and downloading a bunch of their CC. It's nice that it's organized too, based on if they are long hairstyles, short hairstyles, toddlers, boys, girls, etc. But this is one creator um, among some of the others that I have shown that you will probably spend hours and download hundreds of CC from. So be careful because there are plenty of amazing options from this creator. Next creator is Aladdin the Simmer. They do a bunch of variations of things. They do hairs, clothing, jewelry. I've had a lot of their hairs for a while now. There's still a good amount that I'm seeing on here that I do need to download too like this. I love this. Next is Dallas Girl and they are one of my go-tos for shoes. I feel like shoes is something I never really downloaded much when I was first getting CC and I've only very recently started to download more of but they have oh sorry this is in the way that keeps being in the way and I keep forgetting but they have a bunch of shoe collections and they're beautiful they mostly have feminine shoes like sandals heels platforms a bunch of that stuff they've got some flats they have a really nice flats collection which I love I try not to put too much shoe CC in my folder just to keep it from getting too big and shoes are usually something I'm like okay I'm okay repeating this but some of just like the very classic heels that they have I use all the time they do also do some hairs as well but they are alpha hair so I don't personally use them but if you're looking for another alpha hair CC creator you can check out Dallas girl next is a creator that I have discovered fairly recently and it is Gius and their shoes are my absolute favorite they do a good amount of men's shoe collections which is awesome because again more CC for males is wonderful but they also do the cutest like look at this the cutest shoes like that are super quirky and different and just things that I haven't really ever seen before they've got Crocs they have a bunch of other like different style boots and everything these are just like very they have some classic stuff but also just different stuff that I haven't normally seen other creators do before so if you are looking for just more shoes in general definitely recommend checking out this page these platforms are one of my favorite platform shoes ever I use them all the time I want them in real life and like oh oh these slippers look at these slippers these are so cute I need to download these next is another creator that I discovered fairly recently I think they only have a page on the Sims resource but they are Arltos they have a lot of shoes and I, I mostly download their shoes there's actually a good amount that I also need to download later but they also have some clothing items which I love and again another creator that just has like absolutely adorable shoes like things I haven't really seen before like look at these these are so cute these are something I want to wear to like Disneyland and they have sandals and cute dresses and skirts and all of that the next creator has been around for a quite a while they it seemed that they stopped posting on their tumblr so I'm showing you all and linking their patreon page there's early access stuff but for the most part it is free Rusty's is a creator that I have been using for a very long time especially for royals because their clothing not a lot of it is for like super formal events like ball gowns or anything like that but they do have I guess this could be considered pretty formal um, but they have more semi formal and great casual clothing for royals as well they have different types of collections not all of it really is for royals I mean non royals can wear this too for the most part the CC I'm showing you guys can work definitely for non royals but they have just like an insane collection of clothes clothing they have gorgeous dresses and everything is just absolutely just so well made they have tons of hats too if you're looking for hats for princesses nobles and all of
all of that. I'm not even getting, they have so much stuff. I, I wanna show you all later, but I'm not even getting to all of it because they have been around for years. So they have so much content, but even like down to their older stuff, their outfits are absolutely gorgeous. So I recommend checking out their page. It might take a bit to scroll through, but I recommend starting from the beginning because they have so many options. This next creator is probably one of my top three favorites. And for those of you who know me, know that I live and breathe Civix. Their dresses and outfits are some of the best I've ever seen. I could literally talk about them forever, but I won't talk your ear off. But the quality of everything is just so nice. They have so many ball gowns. I use their ball gowns and just gowns in general for so many of my royal sims and they work great for your sims if you want to use them for prom or just any formal event. They have a lot of outfits with tons of swatches that can be used for wedding dresses too. So this is another place that I recommend going looking for wedding dresses. There's some creators that specifically do bridal CC, but I, I didn't even get to include all of those. But maybe in the future, I definitely can. But yes, there's definitely Definitely some good options for wedding dresses, bridesmaids dresses. There's dresses for kids, some conversions for kids. I'm sure most of you have already heard of Civics and probably already have some stuff from them, but if not, definitely go check them out. Next CC creator we have is Madeline. I have a good amount of their stuff, but honestly not as much as I would like to. A lot of their clothing, I wasn't sure if it worked well for royals, but this could definitely work for those who don't play royalty, which might be a lot of you. Um, but like this, this is one of the cutest outfits I've ever seen. Their jumpsuit outfits are so cute. They have tons of shoes as well. They have like different sneakers and heels and like adorable dresses and tops. They They've got stuff for kids. I know they have like matching, I don't see it now, but I've seen like matching child parent outfits, which are so cute too. Oh yes, and they also have cute matching outfits for kids and toddlers too. They've got some like undergarments as well. They also have furniture. Pretty much all of these CC creators do cast CC, but uh, some of them do build by CC as well. Maybe I could do a favorite creators for build by CC in the future if you all would like to see that. They have some adorable stuff. This next creator is Gorilla X3 or Gorilla Gorilla Gorilla. They do specifically Alpha CC. So this is, I do a mix of Maxis and Alpha for clothing, jewelry, furniture, and all that stuff. I just stick to Maxis for hairs unless it's Enrique hairs. But Gorilla X3 has awesome outfits. They have a lot of stuff for men, which is what I originally found them for. They have a good amount of stuff for feminine sims as well. This bow dress is adorable. But yeah, it's just another option if you're looking for men CC. If you're not that into alpha, then probably wouldn't recommend them because all of their stuff is alpha, but I personally love it and I think it goes perfectly fine with some Maxis CC. This next creator is called Dart. I believe that's how you pronounce it. They have a good amount of stuff and variations of things as well. They have lots of casual clothing for the most part and they do have a lot of stuff for male sins as well. If you're familiar with my channel and my story, you probably have recognized a lot of these. Um, I use a lot of this on my character Caspian. There's also some outerwears, some nice coats and shoes as well that I would love to use in the future. So yes, again, a lot of variations of things, a lots of edgy things too, which is cool, but also just some very casual things, some formal, semi-formal suits, which are very nice and I use a lot in my game as well. Also sneakers, they've got, yeah, they've got tons of stuff for guys. So if you're looking for things for males, this is one of the places to go for sure. This next CC creator is really great for historical CC specifically. However, there are some stuff, especially from for royals, because royals, you typically put them in very like timeless sort of styles. So there's a lot of things that can work very well from here, but they have lots of like 1920s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 70s, 80s, all that stuff. Um, they also have a good amount of suits on here too. Oh, it looks like they do some builds which I didn't realize, and they also do some build by CC too. But yeah, there's definitely some great formal stuff here and historical stuff if you are looking. This next creator is a Maxis Match CC creator. They are Aretha B. They have lots of great casual clothing, lots of edgy stuff. They have clothing, hairs, lots of accessories as well. They have shoes, makeup, and I think I think that might be it. Um, for the most part, they do feminine CC, but I think they also do a few masculine CC items as well. They do like 
bows and just little headbands and all of that that is just really nice to have. They have bracelets too. Bracelets is something that's always hard for me to find. So bracelets are nice to see. And just like just cute little accessories. I, I love this hair too. I want to download that hair. But yeah, just another creator with an abundance of stuff. This next CC creator is Green Llamas, which a lot of you might have already heard of before as well. They do lots of hairs and that's how I discovered their page. They do some build by CC, which I hadn't realized before. They do clothing and they do eyebrows. They also have, where did it go? Okay, they have this beard set, which I am absolutely in love with. The facial hair, I have just felt like I would like more options for some of them. I still would like a few more options, but this beard set is one of my absolute favorite and I've been putting it on a lot of my sims recently so I highly recommend downloading it. It is Max's Match 2 which is very nice and they yeah they just have tons of stuff. Either they have shelves, they have different collabs and collections, they have pool party stuff and other things as well but yes this is another page that you can just go on and on looking at. This next creator is Jolie Bean which I hadn't realized I had downloaded a bunch of their stuff in the past but I apparently have had a good amount of their things for a while. They have lots of accessories, clothing, and shoes. I'm, oh, oh, and they also have stuff for kids too, I hadn't realized, and build by CC as well. Also this hair, I want this hair, hello. Okay, there's a, okay, I need to go shopping for some of this CC later. This bun I discovered recently, and it is one of my favorites, and I cannot wait to use that on a royal in the future. They've got nightgowns and lingerie and undergarments too, pajamas, and just a bunch of of cute little things and like this updo too that is really cool i will be downloading some of this stuff later for sure but yes definitely go check out jolly bean next we have miko who has such cute little whimsical things. Like I swear everything on their page is so whimsical. Lots of hair and lots of clothing items, but just their hair accessories, everything, jewelry, clothing. It's so pretty. They have little hats and stuff as well. They've got reshade presets if you're interested. They also have 3D lashes too. So they have a, a good amount of things other than just hair and clothes for sure. This next creator is Glitterberry Sims. And this is a creator that you guys might download download hundreds of CC from if you have not heard of her because she has so much stuff, so much jewelry. She's been recently doing some like eyeliner. I believe she has some like clothing items and like poses and all that as well, but so much jewelry and an insane amount of variations of engagement rings, wedding rings, other rings, so many matching sets for earrings and necklaces and, and some bracelets as well. Also tons of tiaras and crowns if you play royals like me or if you just want a tiara or crown for your sim. But there is, and I mean hundreds of CC from Glitterberry. So this page could literally go on and on. But just one of my favorite things about them is that I get a variation and can choose different engagement rings for my Sims, which I absolutely love. So please make sure to go check out Glitterberry. You will 100% download something from here. This next creator focuses a bit more on royalty CC and it is Melon Sloth. They have a bunch of clothes and they have I believe they have tears. They have royal uniforms as well, which is really nice, but mostly a lot of clothes. They do some hats, they do thrones, which this is one of the best things I have seen for royalty CC. It is beautiful and it's just nice to have a little variation and grandness for your Sims, for your royal family's throne room. But they have got tons of variations of that. But a lot of these, oh, these hair accessories are so cute too, these hats. A lot of these are geared for royals in specific, but you definitely could have your non-royal sims wear a lot of their CC as well. Next we have Normal Sim, which is a creator that's been around for a while and they are pretty specific to royalty. They do have a good amount of other jewelry, just very fancy blinged out gems and diamonds for your sims that are non-royals if you would like for them to just be super rich or anything like that. But for the most part, they do have tons of tiaras and crowns and they also have brooches too, which is very cool. They have a decorative tiara box so they have a few things like decorative crowns that you can put um, that's available for build by as well they've got like scepters and all of that too so this is a hundred percent if you're looking to do royal sims this is a great page to check out this next 
creator is Julieta Sims, I believe that's how you pronounce it. They have a bunch of jewelry and they also look like they have some like umbrellas and other accessories as well. This creator I really love. Oh, they also have nails too, so that's good to know. And they also have jewelry for kids and toddlers too, which is nice to have because I feel like that's not something we get a lot of. But I really love their page because I found a lot of bracelets and I feel like bracelets are something that is so hard for me to find. Um, I, I know there's more. I downloaded a ton of them from them, like bangles and just like really gorgeous diamond bracelets and, and very formal things. This is another page that just has so much CC available and you will probably be scrolling through for a very long time. Rip everyone's CC folder. This next creator is Bats from Westeros, which is actually the very first CC creator I found that did like specifically royal tiaras and crowns when I was first starting my channel. They have beautiful tiaras and crowns. They've got gorgeous jewelry as well. If you go to their page too, you can see they have it kind of mapped out by sets. They have some hairs, like they have, I believe it's Queen Victoria's hair and some other things as well. They do clothing, they do dresses, they do poses. Yeah, very specific like past royals dresses and gowns and all of that stuff, which is really nice to have if, if you would like that for your Sims because you don't see a lot of creators do this kind of stuff. Another great place to check out too if you are doing a historical gameplay. This next CC creator is a bit of a smaller creator. I don't think a lot of people have heard of before and they were recommended to me by someone on one of my Twitch streams, but they are Yak Farm and they were recommended to me for jewelry in specific. A lot of great stuff for royals because it's a lot of like antique pearls, diamonds. We've got like a pearl hoop earring here, but they also have just cute quirky stuff too, like these little jelly bear earrings. Oh, and this one too. This is gorgeous and that's great for royal sims or just like something if you want to imagine that has been passed down in your sims family multiple times. We've got gorgeous lockets and all of that stuff as well. They do also have some CC eyes that I saw. I believe they, they might have eyelashes too. Um, and they do a few clothing items as well. So if you're looking for any of that stuff, you can definitely check it out. I didn't actually include many creators that do skin details or anything like that in specific on here. I do have a favorite skin details video that I posted a while ago that I can link in the description below. This is mostly just like clothing, accessory. Oh, we got some, some scars here as well. So there's that too, which I also feel like is not something we get to see much. So that's nice to have. And I think that might be it for this video for Cassie C creators. There's definitely some more amazing ones out there that I would love to include in a future video. Again, if there's any that I missed that you would like to see, please feel free to comment them below and I can try to get them the next time that I do this video when I do a part two. If this video is helpful, please make sure to hit that like button. And if you have not subscribed yet, make sure hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell and I will see you guys in the next video.